Hello everyone, this is HGS Geski here, and it is finally time, the moment you have all been waiting for. That's right, StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm is officially released, which means I'm going to be playing through the campaign, playing every single mission along the way, and releasing it here on my main channel. Now, if you are a new follower who doesn't know too much about my channel, basically it is like 99% about StarCraft, and sometimes there'll be some random stuff in there, but uh, if you want to subscribe for more StarCraft, feel free. Also, you can join the Husky StarCraft group right here on Battle.net if that's uh, something you'd be interested in. But let's go ahead and jump right into the campaign. So, of course, you got to log into the game, go to Heart of Swarm, and uh, Heart of the Swarm, excuse me, and we're going to be doing a brand new campaign. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do hard. Only choose if I am a StarCraft veteran. That sounds pretty accurate. And here we go. I have a feeling it's going to be opening with the amazing cinematic. I sure hope so anyways. Oh, God. Are you guys excited? Because I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so good. All right, so we got the prologue going on. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blades, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Rayner's rebel forces have smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the powerful Zell Naga artifact has disappeared. In a hidden base in the Umajin Proto Pro Protectorate, Rayner and Prince Valerian have begun conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete. But they are running out of time. Throughout the sector, Emperor Minx's forces carry out a relentless hunt for the Dominion's most hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. All right, here we go, guys. orders, sir. No visit. Open the door.
test protocol will begin in two minutes. to this test it's your last one now give us a minute very well we're getting out of here tonight darling good then we can go after Minsk forget Minsk forget all of it this is about you and me until Minsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. All right, so it looks like we're going to learn how to use Kerrigan, actually. So we're going to be selecting it. Are you able to control it? Yeah, I have it. Okay, the next step. See if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery. All right, going to be building a nice little hatchery. There it goes. A hatchery is the central structure of a Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. The hatchery also produces lava which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use larva, the hatchery will replenish them over time. Okay, Kerrigan. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Oh, they're so cute when there are prisoners stuck in little cages. All right, let's go ahead and have them mine some minerals here. And there they go. So the next mission objective is to harvest 300 minerals. I can't make any drones, unfortunately, because of the fact that uh, I'm, I'm currently supply blocked because my macro is terrible. You're doing well, Kerrigan. Can you morph more drones? I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. Oh god. Oh god, Valerian, what have you done? The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. Oh my god, they're so fast. Excellent. I plan to stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. Valerian, what are you doing? This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea at all. The little kid's gonna mess it up. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into zerglings. You know this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. 
I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. All right, this is this is getting well, hilarious here, already. Kerrigan. What are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. All right, well here we go. We'll see if the uh, the good old build that I went here is gonna break us on out of here. All right, reach the checkpoint. Stop! I didn't ask you to create zerglings. Funny thing about zerg, Valerian, they never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the eradicator. Nothing gets out. Maybe if I destroy your pretty eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. Okay, this mission is awesome already. So apparently we're actually gonna be we're actually gonna be building things, which is kinda cool. We got our fast overlords. Those sentry bots are destroying the Zerglings in their pens. I can change that. Alright, we'll see if this is enough lings to actually take this on. I have no idea. Oh, they're actually not doing too bad. I sense more zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Oh snap! Actually, what I want to be doing here is macroing up. So we're gonna we're gonna get some drones up in here after I make more overlords. Come on, give me another overlord. All right, we got that started, and let's see what we can find. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. Oh, Valerian. I love how in every every movie and game with any kind of prince, they're always a total fail boat. He is already messing this up. Alright, so. Getting those taken. Oh my god, is there units in there? Oh yes! You know what, Kerrigan? You're getting too maxed out too quickly. Hang on, I can make one more drone. There's that. And what is that little thing? Whatever, I'm gonna kill it. Whatever it is. All right, take these guys out. Get the nice surround going. Kerrigan, this is not a game. It never is with the Zerg. Not enough minerals. Uh, not spoiler enough alert! Minerals. It is a game. All right, here we go. Apparently, there's a factory in here. Might as well kill this off. Don't let them make any more. Uh ah, -uh, they actually did make two more, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and make another Overlord. Got my got my macro going on, and apparently 15 drones is the amount we're supposed to have for that. All right, we destroyed all of those. Zerg, run! Damn it! Get all personnel off that level. No more personnel remain on sublevel. Containment door closed. All right, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna try and kill them, just because they look awesome. Are those banelings? What are those? Kind of hard to tell exactly what those are. Automated gas defense activated. Oh god, what is that? that? Containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. What? Oh, gas turrets. All right. That gas is hurting my zerglings. All right, let's go ahead and do. Wait, wait. Rally there, 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 there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to kill off them gas chambers. All right, got that. Going to go over here. How many of these are there? Not very many, evidently. Thankfully, these gas things don't actually do that much damage. That's always nice. The door's open. Now to destroy the eradicator. Now to destroy the eradicators. All right, let's see what's down here. Hopefully this is more zerglings. That'd be nice. Additional wow, additional overlords required, it says. It does not say spawn more overlords, which is hilarious. Never thought I would hear that. All righty, got that down. Oh, more units. Yes, please. I kind of like Kerrigan so far in this. I'm going to be honest. 
I'm gonna be honest. Oh god, more bots. Alright, so far this looks relatively easy. Then again, it is the very first mission, so... That'd be kind of expected. Alright, what do we got going down here? Quite a lot of bots. Let's see if there's anything up here first. Eradicator activated. Oh god. Oh god, I shouldn't have gone that way. I should not have gone that way. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on going up there for now. I don't know what the eradicator is, but he does not look fun. I imagine Zerglings are enough to beat him though, as that is the only unit they give us currently. Alright, gotta be cleaning these up. Oh, uh, they even have a nice little 3D. You know what? I need another I need another macro hatch. Oh, can I not build anywhere? Uh, they don't let you build anywhere, do they? Lame. I'm all trying to get my macro hatch on. It's not happening. Let's just kill these guys in the corner, because why not? Because killing things is fun when you are the Zerg. Alright, we're going to clean that one off. And hopefully get more Zerglings. Roaches would be kind of cool. I think we just get Lings, though. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. Oh god, here we go. Kerrigan is pissed! Alright, gotta get that fatty surround going. Kill off these two. Here we go for the, uh, for the other guy. And they're probably gonna be building a couple of buildings, or building a couple of units, rather. And got that, oh yes, here we go. Here we go, that is so many Zerglings. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. That was actually pretty awesome. Oh, okay, so this is the victory screen for Labrat Hard. It took me 12 minutes. New unit acquired the Zergling. It has your stats over here on the mission recap. Um, I believe achievements are actually disabled right now, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and do continue. And I love to always do as much story before the next video as possible. So let's go ahead and follow up, see how the next mission pans out. I'm actually kind of curious to see how they do storytelling in this one. You can already tell a slight difference from Wing of, Wings of Liberty as uh, it's just different so far, which is kind of cool. Research station EB-103. <laughs> EB-103. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. My ship is prepped and we're ready to go. Heading your way now. All right. Well, I will say Jimmy is quite trusting of Sarah Kerrigan so far. So I'm curious to see if she betrays him. Oh, God, I actually really want to know what happens. So we're going to go ahead and go on to the next mission. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, it's so good.